Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, today's session we are going to do a below compression. Uh, we are going to do this problem in Abacus standard. So right now on my screen what you are seeing is a below. Uh, typical plastic below, polyethylene below, which is uh, we are compressed by one inch and seeing for for one inch compression how much stress is generated and most of the time your stress should not cross the yield point of the material because if it's got yield plasticity generated below cannot do, do its function so typically this uh, uh, bellows are zigzag shape which use in lot of medical app application there are metal bellows which use in a control switch application where the temperature is uh, varying so there are a lot of lot of location we are going to use below so we are going to do this problem now this particular problem you can do uh, different uh, by different uh, you can do axis symmetry problem you can do a, a sector symmetry problem you can do a, a symmetry problem uh, but for this particular case we are going to use a shell and we are going to make it full 360 degree problem you can also do axis symmetry problem or one fourth model quarter model or uh, so let's start doing this problem so let me clear this and let me set the directory So before starting a problem quickly we go uh, we are going to do below compression in Abaca standard this will be a implicit problem uh, because it's a slow application of force there is no mass matrix involved or it is not dynamic problem it is a simple static problem there are non-linearities uh, material non uh, geometric non linear will be there material non linear will be not there because if it cross yield then it will not do its function then it is a part failure functional failure of the part and there are chances that uh, once you compress this this the the below immediately next profile may come in contact so it is we have to define contact also so typically what we are going to do we are going to uh, build a small below then we'll put a top condition as an end caster we'll give one inch displacement we are going to use a plastic below so polyethylene below typical 100 modulus 0.38 as a Poisson's ratio uh, we are going to use turn millimeter newton second so this will be mpa 100 mpa and then uh, displacement will give in uh, millimeter so let's quickly build the problem so first uh, i go to the part model i'll go and create i'll say 3d deformable shell i'm going to revolute it and then i'll say 500 and then i'll say below I'll quickly first put first point 0 comma 0 then I'll put uh, second point as 50 comma 0 and then then I'll put uh, 50 comma 20 50 comma 40 50 comma 60 so f x 50 y 60 50 comma 80 so what I've done I created first at 50 inner OD point then I'll create for 100 is a uh, outer diameter so 100 comma 10 100 comma 30 100 comma 50 100 comma 70 so I'll just fit it so we have one two so we have created all I'll also create one point uh, 50 comma minus 20 is one point and I'll create 50 comma 100 it will be the top point so now we can quickly create a line so this is first straight line then we have this profile going and this is the top so we are done that now we need to put a 3 millimeter fillet here it is not sharp edge it will be a fillet so let's put 3 millimeter fillet so we created now 3 millimeter fillet it will be with this and this vertical edge also vertical edge and this so we are done this 
Oh, so we'll quickly revalidate it around 360. So we have done the, the geometry part. We'll quickly create a material. It will be PE. We don't have to give density because we're going to do this in implicit solver, I a standard. So we'll give 100 MPa as a modulus and then 0.38 as a Poisson's ratio. Now, guys, uh, now, uh, guys, we don't have to give a plasticity data here because typical um, P uh, yield is around 4.2, 4.3 MPa. If in this compression it goes to that, then we can say this design is not feasible. You have to change the design. So we're going to go only with the elastic properties. Uh, we'll give uh, typical uh, shell thickness. This will be around. 1.5 millimeter so i'm going to give 1.5 millimeter okay and then i'll just just assign this to this part so i'll select the part done uh, let me create it first then i do select it done and then i assign this section to it so as soon as i assign it change the color so we've done that now let me move this for this side so now we'll create assembly we'll create instant so below we have created the instant now once we have created the instant now uh, we'll do mesh so we'll do mesh not in assembly we have to do in part uh, we are going to make it around four, three millimeter will do or we'll put two millimeter so it will be quite a bit will capture this uh, we'll also do you not local seeding I don't want to give this but I just want to use uh, medical access theorem uh, which put quite a bit structural mesh this we have put two uh, it will be uh, Abaca standard it will be S4R and then we'll quickly mesh it so we create a quite a bit fine mesh now 2 milliliter we also very well capture the radius with the three elements now we quickly create a node set uh, so I'll go to the part below and uh, one minute let me then I'll create and before that I'll just put in some so I'll create node set it will be top which will be end cast end caster condition done and then I'll create bottom where we are going to give displacement let me check we are selected all yes done so we have that created that node set now quickly we'll go to the contact definition so we'll first create property there are chances uh, during this compression they may uh, this side by side edges profile may come in contact so we are going to give friction penalty based friction around 0 0.2 now the contact which we are going to use because we are not sure which which is surface is going to come in contact so we are going to use a general contact I have a standard so it will be self contact always self and then we will assign that frictional property there so we are done with that now I'll go to the load and then first define the boundary condition which will be end cast condition set will take a top nodes so we have done that now we quickly create a step the step will be below compression it will be static general case 
and it will jump on this is just a imaginary time there is no time so it will be one is actually end of the full load so 25.4 is applied and then we'll say below compression uh, initial increment will go very slow 0 0.01 and uh, annual jump on will just put some damping factor just in case there is some localized buckling which will may be prevented uh, may might be some some issue with localized element buckling so that for that we are using that and then again we'll go to the load and then we'll create one more within step this will be within step uh, we are going to do displacement and then again we'll select the bottom node and we will be having this as uh, 25.4 so one inch we are going to give vertical displacement so let me check this so we are given a vertical displacement so now let me save this as a bellow.ce file I will create job bellow I'll just write an input file input file is written so I'll quickly do a data check I always recommended that first you do a data check because once you do a data check you have all the clarity that there is no issue related to preprocessor so if data check is clear there is no issue with preprocessor then we can go and submit a run and then if you within run you get some issue then there are the issues with convergence or any other thing so let's wait uh, till the data check finish So data check is uh, almost finished. It's a file preprocess complete successfully. So le let me get a message here that it is completed. Uh, data check is completed successfully. Now we'll just submit the run. We'll submit the run and we'll just wait till we get results. So we have submitted the run. Now just wait for results and then we can discuss on the results. If there is any issue with convergence, then we'll see. If, if there is no issue, then we'll look into results and how to do post processing so guys uh, again back after the run the run is done uh, I'm just checking I just gone and monitor um, how it's going so what what I find there is no severe uh, discriminatory iteration so I guess there is no contact really happened between uh, profile to profile uh, Initially it have some equilibrium iteration issues then I think the run is gone smooth and then last step also it got some lot of issues so as it is getting co compressed it take a lot of uh, force and that's where actually it created some issue for equilibrium iteration but it is just done so we are looking into one more stress so let me set this to 1.2 So what we are seeing is the stresses are generated around 2 let me check it for the last step so it's almost uh, gone to 2 so let me check more than 1.5 but they are less than yield yield of the metal so there is no issue so it looks fine for below let me take some section cut just to understand whether there is some H to H contact happen or not so really there is no really the two profile the two surface never come in contact overall I think this is a good uh, below design and which you can use a compression there are a lot of things you can do you can also measure how much is the force required to compress this but the, the today's session was mainly to look into whether we can solve the below problem and then looked into uh, below design so let's check some profile some more profile let me check 
so we can see I think it's a good design and uh, you can do a lot of problem like this uh, below problem or accessimetry problem with this so thanks a lot guys for watching this so going back thanks a lot for watching this if you have any query you can mail us at abacusacumen at the gmail.com don't forget to like us or subscribe